Hello, this is Quality Performance Management, Class Group 9, and we will be presenting on Lean Thinking in Healthcare. Outline. The topic of this presentation is the use of Lean Thinking and application in the improvement of healthcare services. We will begin the presentation by introducing the theory behind Lean Thinking and management. We will then highlight the key components of the lean process, including the five principles of lean. Then we will discuss why lean thinking and processes can be applied to the healthcare system to eliminate waste. A suggestion of potential benefits of lean management and processes on healthcare service delivery will then be presented. These potential benefits will be supported with evidence provided in research studies analyzing the implication of lean thinking in different healthcare settings. Potential limitations of lean implementation will then be discussed. We will conclude by providing suggestions for future lean implementations and usage in healthcare. Introduction to Lean. Lean is a performance improvement approach which originated in the Japanese automobile manufacturing ind industry. The Lean approach focuses on the establishment of production and service system that requires less time, human effort, financial resources, and space. Because this method of production requires less input to produce more value, it was termed Lean. Essentially, Lean focuses on the creation of the perfect process. By eliminating all forms of waste and only including steps which will provide measurable value for customers and stakeholders. In the theory of Lean, processes are referred to as value streams and involve steps. When these steps are performed properly, in the, in the right sequence, at the right time, value is created. In the perfect process, all steps are valuable, capable, available, adequate, and flexible. Failure in any of these dimensions during a specific step creates waste. The term waste is broad and includes many components. Specifically, waste may refer to mistakes that require correction, the production of goods, exceeding customer demands, unnecessary steps within a process, unnecessary physical movements of employees and products within a process, wasted employee time, and the production of services which do not match customer needs. It is important to note that since healthcare services are patient-centered, all forms of waste and value must be identified from the perspective of the patient. Key Components of Lean there are five principles within the lean process. These principles are value, value stream, flow, pull, and perfection. Value is identified as what is important to the customer or patient. And as previously stated, if a process does not add value, it must be eliminated. Value stream refers to the steps required to complete a process and value streaming involves ensuring that all steps in a process add value. Value streaming in order to create the perfect process you need to first identify which steps in the process create clear value, are necessary but create no value, and create no value but must be eliminated. After eliminating wasteful steps a new future state process can be mapped and changes can be implemented and monitored to achieve this future state. Flow is a step in the lean approach which ensures that there is continuous flow of value through the value stream from the beginning to the end. For example, flow would involve when a patient enters a health facility, they must immediately they must be immediately triaged, registered seen by a physician without waiting in within between steps. The net result of flow in this scenario is a reduction in wasted time. Pull. Pull is a principle that ensures that production only occurs with equal demand. The perfect process involves pull 
not push. Push occurs when steps in the process are performed out of order due to a step in the process not being ready or unavailable. Lastly, perfection is a key principle that ensures that def defects in the perfect process are avoided and the process is continually monitored and reworked. Applying Lean to Healthcare One of the biggest drivers of lean implementation in the healthcare sector is a desire to increase operational and financial efficiency through waste reduction. Current challenges in healthcare, many of which are related to malpractice, could potentially be decreased with lean implementation. For example, malpractice leads to high financial associate to high financial cost associated with patient death and medical mishaps. Safety of workers is also a huge concern as 1 in 20 workers experience a non-fatal injury or illness and there are 631,000 incidents among workers. The application of lean principles in healthcare service could also help with waste reduction. There is a lot of waste produced in healthcare services. This waste is classified as excessive motion due to incorrect floor layout or lack of physical access to resources. Secondly, wasted time, waiting for paperwork, treatment, approvals, and medical resources. Third, overproduction, large batches of material and supplies. Defects, leading to patient readmissions and hospital acquired infections. And unnecessary slash ineffective handouts due to miscommunication and confusion over professional roles. Potential benefits of lean in healthcare. Applying lean principles to healthcare can decrease waste production and potentially lead to improved processes, increased quality of care, and staff patient satisfaction and safety. The success of lean application in the automotive industry suggests that when applied to healthcare, lean principles could lead to greater productivity, improved quality of service, reduced process time, smoother operation, and reduced operating cost. Impact of lean on healthcare examples. Research on the results of lean application in different medical facilities in Canada and other countries have shown several benefits to operational and financial efficiency. These benefits may be summarized as decreased wait times, improved quality of care, improved patient safety, decreased cost of operation, increased patient satisfaction, and lastly, increased staff satisfaction. Specifically, a study conducted by Brando, Bernardo showed reduced resource utilization. A study conducted by Clark showed a reduction in errors and shortened turn turnaround times. When Dowall studied the first, the first implication of lean in Saskatchewan Health Facility, a 17% reduction in waste was observed with a 0.2% investment in lean management activities. Kinder observed the reduction in bottlenecks due to lean application. Lastly, Mazzucato applied lean principles to workplace ergonomics, scheduling, staffing, and employee roles, which resulted in decrease emer decreased emergency care times by 24%. It is important to note Benefits have been seen in a variety of healthcare facilities. For example, Clark, Sylvester, and Knowles showed benefits of lean use in laboratory medicine. Van der Sulis showed benefits in intensive care unit, and Clark showed benefits of lean in the field of histology. Current limitations of lean. Use of lean principles in healthcare is currently low. Lean use is limited due to lack of resources, limited information, 
and education provided to staff and lack of management and leadership support. Staff may resist lean use due to concern that lean results in job cutting. Also, a slow encouragement of staff in lean activities occurs because staff do not see immediate personal benefits of these initiatives. The long-term sustainability of lean initiatives is also a concern. Van Rossum and Simmons found that professional silos and ineffective multidisciplinary collaboration is a key limitation for lean success. Harrison also found that success of lean projects was limited by outdated health information systems. All of these limitations must be addressed in order to successfully implement future lean projects that have long-term sustainable benefits. Conclusion and Future Directions Research has shown several benefits of lean implementation such as decreased cost, wait times, increased quality, efficiency, and patient as well as staff satisfaction. However, there are limitations of lean projects, including limited resources, limited staff participation and understanding, and limited long-term sustainability. Considering the many benefits associated with lean implementation, if limitations are properly addressed, lean thinking could eventually lead to increased operational and financial efficiency of the Canadian healthcare system. As emphasized by Brand Bernardo, the future of lean projects in healthcare must be executed on a macro instead of a micro level of organizations in order to ensure long-term sustainability. Long-term success of lean implementation is also dependent on ensuring team commitment and transformational leadership. Transformational leadership ensures top-down commitment and encourages bottom-up acceptance. With the lean approach, Healthcare facilities of the future can add value to every step of the healthcare process, from registration to discharge.